in this tutorial today we'll create a login page uh, that will include the database part how do you interact with the database and how do you I mean um, validate your credentials again the database and based on that you allow the user to get logged in okay so in order to do that I'm going to name a project say demo okay so to create a project for me so after creating a project this is what I get I get a default.ESPX page which has some markup which is given default on the page if you look at it that is nothing so let's start with the designing and we'll go to design tab and and then we'll start with a control colors here table we'll say insert table 2 by 2 is fine for me then I'll say uh, username and then there will be a password and then there will be a button right for login now I need to add control so for username I need a text box which comes here so as you can see I got one text box I need to add another and in the end I need to add the button okay so as for the naming convention we'll go this way I hit F4 and we'll name this text box is txt username then this guy would be txt password I'll name the button as btn login and I need to check buttons text property to login so we get login and on password there's a text mode property which I need to change to password so as a password now click on login button so I get the window where I can work now and if you check the code behind it generates a event for me right where this is a place where I can validate the my credential against the database so now so far so good now let's create the database in order to create a database, go to I'm sorry, not the server explorer, view solution explorer, then right click on app data, say add new item, okay. Then we'll add the database. I'll call this database as my my database. Okay, so actually I've named my database my database instead of it is mu database double click on that double click on that and you can see the server explorer we don't need solution explorer and as you can see we don't have any tables right so <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll add a new table okay I'll start with first would be an ID I'll call integer not null then username I'll call it worker 50 then password worker 50 I call this thing as primary key then in ID you need to make one change go to identity specification select this uh, selected as identity column to yes and it ought to only settle the things then save the table name the table as tpl user done then we'll add some data to it right click show table data and then you add a data that would be like say any name well I go with go with uh, I'll call it Ross password would be A then I'll go with Joey password would be B I guess 2 would be more than enough let's close it then uh, the first thing uh, let's have a thing you know First thing we need to have a connection with the database whenever we're working with this. Unless and until we don't have a connection, it's not going to work. So in order to get a connection, I generally use a shortcut. The shortcut is simply drag this table from the server explorer to the designer surface and it goes like this. Now technically speaking, we don't need this uh, grid view control and SQL data source. But we had a benefit behind this and the benefit is if you go to view and then you select the solution explorer you can check the web.config okay where you can see 
one second where you can see it automatically adds a tag for you which is nothing but a connection string which is nothing which is uh, describing a path where exactly uh, we are having the database so it just tells this within the amp data folder I mean which is a data directory and that's it which database we are using and the connection is name is as mu database connection string so I'll instead I'll change it to my connection connection string okay so this is my connection string then I'll copy this for the later use now simply I can go to default dot ASPX page where I need to do something some settings first I need to create a connection as your connection connection and control period and head ok I'll call this guy connection is equal to new connection and uh, then I'll say configuration manager manager dot connection strings and then I'll say the thing which I just grabbed from the web dot config file dot to string and simply close it semicolon so basically now we have the what can I say the connection we have the connection to our database right next thing uh, in order to check whether the user is validated against the database I need to create an SQL command so I'll say I mean there are plenty of ways you can do this but there is a simple and there is a little faster than others so I'm choosing this so I'll do this way SQL command is equal to new command and then I'll say command dot um, command text command text will be my SQL query so I'll go with like select star from uh, TBR users where user name is equal to at the rate user <coughs> username and password is equal to at the rate password right my query complete I'm done next thing I need to specify what type of connection this command object is going to use that would be a connection object which we have just created here right once we are done with this next thing would be start supplying the parameters command dot parameters dot add with value now parameters would be so now the parameters would be the username okay which we require because based on that we'll be validating the username okay and what is the parameter value comes from username I mean txt username dot text so basically the text username represent I'm getting the parameter from here same goes with this and I can do is copy paste and I'll say instead of this now I'll have the password right so I'll choose the password copy and simply paste and I'll call it txt password dot text so once I'm done with the password thing next thing I need to open the connection connection dot open once I open the connection next thing I will fire the query and for that SQL data reader rd is equal to com dot execute reader ok and finally and finally I will check if rd dot has rows <coughs> if rd dot, ha dot has rows it means uh, our credentials are successfully validated against the database I'll just explain you in a while just hold on a second okay uh, if RD does not have any rules then it's a failure right so let's check so that would be failure okay and let's run this thing quickly I'll give you the explanation little late okay say okay so as you can see my page and I'm gonna try ROS and I'm gonna try A and I log in and it is waiting and I probably should get success right okay I got some exception for some reason TBL users what did I name my database I mean view 
Windows Server Explorer TBL user, I'm sorry I made a mistake uh, I have a problem in my query so it should be stopped it should be TBL user now if I run and try again I think this time I'll get the success, right? maybe not Ross A and we got the success as you can see, right? but if I change, let's say to Joey Joey and if I ch try password BB which is not the password, Joey has a password A and I hit login then it will work again I got failure, interesting let me check the database what's the password for Joey use server explorer show table data come on I'm sorry password for Joey is B so let's go back to browser and try B ok I get the success ok so enough with this now let's get back to the code what exactly I did so as I said earlier in order to work with the database you always need a connection right so I just made a connection and you saw how right next thing in order to talk to database I need uh, I need to query the database right so for that I created a command ok then I wrote the query select star from TBL user where username is equal to something and password is equal to something now the something is nothing but these two parameters right so I need to supply these two parameters so I need to tell from where I'm getting these parameters so username it means it is txt username dot text so in the end when this whole thing combines my query becomes select star from tbl user where username is equal to whatever I'm filling inside you know the txt username so that is ross or maybe joey whatever and in the end I open the connection so I open my connection in order to execute a query like the reference your face you can execute a query but I just want to check like I mean my user has successfully logged in or not so I use SQL data reader when I execute the reader it will give me the whole bunch of things from the I mean whatever query I fire like suppose right now we are looking for one record right but the, like there are plenty of records so in that case reader is helpful so I'm just checking after executing query if RD has rows I mean if the reader has I got any rows that means the user and password I entered that was correct if I didn't get any row then I got the failure right so I guess that would be all